Hi, Greg. Hi, guys. This is Greg Schreiber. I, uh, I'm for the people that don't know me out there. I'm the VP of Business Development and one of the co-founders of Aspian. I just wanted to. Uh, uh, we're going to wait just a couple more minutes until uh, somebody, some people join, but we'll get started here in a second. So, all right, guys. I think uh, I see people just joining in as uh, as uh, we're going along. So, we've got a ton of content to get over uh, to get through. So, I guess let's get started. Um, for those of you that know me, my name is Greg Schreiber. I'm the VP of Business Development and one of the co-founders here at Baspian. I uh, wanted to thank everybody for joining. Like I said, we got a big group. I think there's uh, almost 75 people that were registered and. I see about uh, 35 that are already on the call right now, and that keeps changing. So also with me behind the scenes, I got my business partner and, and uh, CEO, Brian Hurley. He's helping me with, uh, if you guys have questions, he'll help get those answered. He also has audio control, so he may pop in from time to time to, uh, to in case I went too fast or something. But um, this session is for you guys, so I want it to be as interactive as possible. If you do have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, there are two ways that you can do so. You can either type your question into the um, question box or the chat section there, or you can raise your hand and we'll try to get somebody to get to you, and, uh, or I'll have Brian try to point out your question so that I can either slow down or go back to what you might want to take a look at. Um, everyone should be seeing my screen uh, with a PowerPoint presentation up. The, um, you'll also see that um, you should see a camera, and that camera is going to have uh, a picture of one of the Vaspian phones in that. So from time to time, as I go through different features, we're going to be using the actual um, camera so that you guys can see what's going on on the phone. Uh, and within the GoToWebinar software, you have the ability to um, click on that window and then click enlarge and that will make that particular um, picture larger or take the large portion of your screen so you can see what's going on and then you can toggle back and forth similarly between the presentation and the actual phone so let's uh, let's get started so just a couple things that I wanted to cover um, about upcoming webinars. We do have an upcoming webinar on our um, speech analytics technology. Speech analytics is um, it's a very cool technology that works in conjunction with our call recording product. It allows you to basically take all of your call recordings, transcribe them 100% into text, and make those keywords searchable. And so it's almost like being able to Google your phone calls. So if you uh, type in a keyword, you're looking for something or looking for a particular call, you can type in some things. Just because I can't help myself and, and also for your guys' background to see who might be interested in, uh, in that webinar, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that right now. So this is our it's called our vSpeech portal. Don't worry about how you get here or how you uh, utilize this. We're going to cover all that stuff in detail. I just wanted to show you a very brief intro on this so that we know, uh, so that you guys can see if you want to sign up for that, that webinar. So as I log in, thing that you might notice too is this is in a separate portal. We have this set up as a separate portal because we have some customers who utilize this that don't use our phone service. They basically will just send us audio files and then we provide that transcription as well as some other functions in here. So once you're logged in, you should see a dashboard here. It'll tell you, hey, so far today we've had 64 calls. Yesterday we had 187. It just tells you a little bit of information about what's going on here. This thing is automated. So 
these are calls as calls are being answered here and uh, people are hanging up it automatically process those, processes those transcribes them and so a minute after it's done it shows up here within this portal um, so as I scroll down you could see um, here this thing where it says positive agent emotion so not only is it doing transcription it's also looking at the uh, the sentiment of the caller and, and actually both parties on the line and it's looking at two things it's looking at both the acoustics as well as the phonetics and trying to, de to develop an opinion on the emotion of what's going on within those calls as I scroll down I could see a complete listing of all of these calls I could see that here's one that happened from 158 so this was just minutes ago that that call came in and so this thing like I said it's automated as the calls get recorded it, they get processed and then they appear here so what can you do with this I mentioned you can google things in here you can actually look things up so right here in this box I can go in and if I wanted to uh, search for some particular thing maybe I wanted to search for um, webinar and I can search by speaker. So if I wanted to search based on what the agent says versus what the customer says, I can do that, or I can just search on any speaker. So if I go in here and I say, uh, let's search for webinar and see how well we did over the phone at promoting our webinar. <laughs> so I have I have seven seven entries. So I guess we didn't do a whole good, a very good job at uh, talking to our customers about it, but we did send out a lot of emails and. The attendance is, uh, we got over 40 people here. So you can see here where I search for webinar, you can see every time that that was word, or that, that was used within a sentence. And so you also see some context of who said it. So here it was the agent that said webinar, and it gives me a little bit of information of that, that sentence. And so I can click on any one of these. If I click on this call here, this will load and it will load the actual transcription on the call and I can click anywhere in the call and it's going to present the actual audio it's going to play this back so I'm going to try to turn this up so maybe you guys can hear so as as the conversation progresses you can see that it moves down So I'm going to pause that just because I don't want to go into too much detail here. But what you'll see is a full transcription of this. And you can start to see some of that color coding. And that color coding is really about uh, um, the emotion and picking up on that emotion. The one thing that it, you can see here is the agent clarity and client clarity. Whenever you have something that's above 80%, the audio quality, you're going to get really nice transcriptions and this thing will get upwards of 92 percent accurate and it's certainly good enough to pick out what's going on in a, in a conversation and be able to search that so i'm just going to close out of this and so now you can see that we can search for these things and i can search for any keyword yesterday i was talking to somebody that was in el paso and i can search for el paso and we can find every single phone call that that had to do with i can tell which extension was on the phone when that happened so there's a lot of information here um, that uh, that you see and this thing is extremely powerful one other thing that we do with this here at vaspian and that our customers use this for is something that's called scoring or modeling and what's really neat about what you can do is you can have this set up so that you can set up criteria that you want and so we've created a bunch of different categories we have communications compliance effectiveness politeness um, and then within that category so if I look at the communication category we've got a bunch of sub categories here we do um, we do our uh, customer service so one of the things that's important is making sure that we have our customer that we're listening to our customers or making sure that we're trying to uh, encourage the client or pro use positive words and when you see these numbers by the way don't think of this as a, a, a test it's not like everybody's trying to get a hundred percent they're really about benchmarks and improving upon benchmarks that you create for yourself so 
as I go in, and I could show you a little bit more about how these are built quickly, um, but if I go here under this communication section, you'll see that these are some categories that we've built. So here we've got our active listening category. And within our active listening, this is where, because we're doing a lot of troubleshooting work, we need to make sure that we're listening to the customer and understanding what's going on. So you could see, are you saying, can you clarify, can you explain? And in this thing is just going through and processing every phone call and saying, hey, did that, did that happen within this phone call? And there's all sorts of different filters that you can do to try to segment calls and get down to the, uh, the nitty gritty of this. And you can also only turn this on for certain extensions. So if you want this on for just two extensions, you could turn it on for those two extensions. If I want to add something in here to be, um, to be into this category, I can say maybe, can you elaborate? And then all I have to do is hit this plus sign. It's now going to add that into that criteria, and it's going to go through and reprocess all that data. And then at the end of the day, it's going to give me scores based on every single agent and how well that they're doing within a particular category. So as you see communication here, I said that this is a lot about benchmarking, right? So when you see um, extensions here where you've got a lot of 80s, and then you see one that's in the 30s, well, this is the one that we probably want to take a look at. Maybe these other two we need to look at as well. So without getting into too much detail about that, I wanted to at least share some of the horsepower behind this because this is a very, very cool product. And uh, in our next call, we're going to be going over um, some of the things that you can do with this and some of the business cases and, and some of the home runs and success stories that we've had with that. Um, by the way, I have not set a date for this webinar. Uh, you guys will see some emails coming out shortly about that too, well, as soon as we get that done. So um, I know that we went into a little bit of our, our new capabilities already with that speech analytics stuff, but today's webinar should be more about the new features about the phone systems and what we can use on a day-to-day -day basis from a feature standpoint. So these are going to be features that are on our physical phones or something that we can set up one time that makes our lives easier or makes us do our job better. Um, and then, uh, so we're going to go through that. Uh, one thing for everybody who joined, uh, we have a free beta service that you guys can sign up for, which I'll cover in a minute. Um, and then the um, somewhere in the middle of our call, we might be uh, also giving away a free prize. And, uh, and then lastly, at the end of our call, I'm going to post a survey for everybody who's on the call to help us with product development. We've got three ideas that we want to build throughout 2018, and uh, we've got a basically poll, and you guys can answer the, the survey, and we'll see what the next thing is that is on our development schedule based on, on you guys. And you guys take the time to come to these, uh, these webinars, so it's greatly appreciated. We want to make sure that we're listening to you. So, speaking of uh, free, um, to thank you guys for signing up and, and joining the webinar today, we're going to be giving everybody six months free of voicemail transcription. So, what's voicemail transcription? Similar to voicemail to email, it just goes one step further from that. So, for anybody who actually uses the, the voicemail to email feature, you know that you'll get an email in the body, you'll, or excuse me, in the subject line, you'll, it'll tell you the caller ID, and then you'll get the attachment here that you can play back and listen. And um, what is new with the voicemail, techno or voicemail transcription is that you're now getting the actual text. So that way, if you're in a meeting or glancing at email, you can just get the gist of the voicemail and determine if it's the right time to handle that or whether you can wait and call them back later. So. Um, to get signed up for this, we're going to be sending out an email. Uh, it'll probably go out tomorrow. 
uh, there's going to be a registration form that you just, all you have to do is fill out a couple of pieces of information that we need in order to provision it correctly for you and how you would like to see this. So there's like three or four or five pieces of information that you'll know off the top of your head. Um, it's like first name, last name, email, things like that, just to confirm. So um, there are the 70 of you that have registered for this, there's currently about 48 people on the call. So uh, just give us a give us to the end of the week to make sure that we get this set up for everybody. And then as soon as it's turned on, you'll just automatically start receiving these voicemails in your email, like what you see here. So one thing before we got into all of the new stuff, and uh, I wanted to take time to throw, show three features that a lot of people don't know on our phone system. And I guess these are probably features that, that uh, came out in, in previous releases and before we were a hipster company and did webinars and all these cool marketing things. But the, uh, I want to make sure that people know what's already available and what's there. So I was just thinking in the top of my head about, hey, what are, the, what are really powerful features that our customers don't really know about? One is six-way call conferencing. Six-way call conferencing is, um, most people know, and our system used to only be capable of doing three-way calling. And most people don't know that they can do more than that. They can tie together four, five, six, and, and just keep adding to that call. A lot of people are using conferencing services um, that cost money. So this is just a good way that, where you can save money and do this for free right on the phone. Um, park as a location. Park, uh, a lot of you are familiar with Park uh, on the system, and a lot of you are probably still using the older method of Park. And Park is where you'd hit the Park button and you want to put somebody on hold, and basically the phone system is going to spit back on the screen a, a number. It's going to say, hey, that calls Parked at 1, or that calls Parked at 7. And it never really seemed like to make any sense as to what that number was, but uh, you would then hit the park button and you'd hit the number seven key on the on the uh, keypad in order to pick that call back up. Well, park got much easier and it now has visual, visual indicators on the actual phone. So you can see who's on park, which, who's on park what. So you'll see park one has a call. And uh, if you have one of the digital phones, like I'm gonna show you in a minute, you'll be able to see the caller ID and who's parked where. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is this Mitel's new cordless DECT, either handset or headset. Um, these things are great. They, um, they work with any of the digital, the screen, digital the screen phones. So the 5330, the 5340, as well as the 5360. So here you can see this one is the um, DECT cordless handset. So there's no spirally cord. Um, you can answer calls from these things remotely. You can hang up remotely. You get you you get a 200 foot range unless you're in a building that's just lots of concrete walls and and then it's probably less than 150. But I know that I've used mine outside at the grill. Well, uh, cooking chicken for the office and uh, and being been able to answer calls. So you get a really nice range on these. Over here, you've got the um, wireless headset system. And with both of these, they're integrated with the phone. So there's no other clunky device that sits on your desk with a bunch of wires. It, it's They're just very slick. And they work really well for um, reception areas. If you've got medical um, offices where you've got check-in, check-out, um, or just anybody who needs some sort of wireless capability. So. I'm gonna switch over to the actual uh, camera here. So you guys should see my hand waving around in front of the the, uh, the camera. So if you click within that window um, where the camera is, then you can click enlarge. We can go through some of these things and I'll show you how some of these features work. So conferencing is pretty easy. It's just the same way you would do a normal conference call. So I would dial my first number We'll dial the uh, local weather guy because he likes to talk for a minute. 
and we're going to turn him way down. So now that I have my call active here and I have a, a call, I see that conference is available on my screen up here. So I can hit the conference button and I can dial my second number. We'll just dial him again because he's there. So now I have my second call up and I could say, hey, I've got the local weather guy on the line. I wanted to bring you in to talk. Uh, let's get the three of us together. And to bring the three of us together, I hit this conference button one more time. And on the phone display, you're going to see I have a three-way call. And it says at the top of the phone, three-way call. Now, conference is still available. So I can keep building on this. So if I want to hit conference, I can bring in another party. Again, I'm going to have the opportunity to tell them, hey, I've got three other people on the line. I'm going to bring you in. Okay, cool. And then I hit conference. It tells me I have a four-way call. So you can keep building on this all the way up to six. Um, and if some of you have a slightly higher requirement, talk to us. We can we can bump that up a couple more because um, uh, we can bring this all the way up to, I think, eight-way calling or might even be 10-way calling. So um, that is six-way calling. Um, Another thing that we uh, have talked about was that park as a location button. So for you, you guys that can see this, up top, you've got this park location key. And that park location key is the um, right here where I have park one. So if I wanna put this call on hold and be able to pick this up from any phone around the building, as long as I have park a park one button built on all of those phones, I can pick those calls up. So. I hit the button, I park that call, it says park that one. I've got a green light here that tells me uh, who that is. And if I wanna pick that up from any other phone, like I have, uh, I have another phone in my desk here so I can pick that call up. And you see that that call is now gone and I hung up on it. So just to do that one more time, I'll, I'll make another call. We'll use park two for variety. So I hit park two. And notice, by the way, it gives you the caller ID of who's on that line so that you don't get confused. So just a great feature. And I think a lot of newer phone systems have gotten away from that old school phone system feeling. And this gives you that, that ability, whether you're a restaurant or you're retail or um, you, you just, need to be able to see calls and easily you're not you're not doing a whole lot of transferring you're yelling across the room and saying hey you got a call on line two pick it up or you got a call parked on two pick it up so just a good way to be able to do that i'm going to pick up that call off of park two um and then the last thing is this we talked about the um wireless headset system or wireless handset system so here you can see i've got no cord on this phone and this thing I can go 250 or 200 feet with without uh, blinking an eye. And this thing is going to be um, you're, you're going to you're going to have perfectly clear service from that far. Um, on the side of the phone, and I think you guys can see me. Hopefully you can. Uh, you have a hang up button. You have a mute button. You have a hang up or answer button. You have a mute button, and then you have a volume up or volume down. And the the all of the cordless devices will work with this receiver that's right here um, so i have another phone on my desk that has the um the sidecar which is this guy here so this is the headset uh, this is available in over the ear so you don't need to have this headband thing here uh, if you want if you want just an over the ear you can do that and if you want um to have it so that you have the, the headband thing which i like because i think it gets heavy on my ear after a while um you could do that to answer calls on this you simply hit the button and it will take that call off hook uh or hang up you guys can't see that phone but you'll have to trust me on that Oops, I keep hitting the button. So let me hang this guy up. And then, so I mentioned that uh, I was going to do 
a giveaway or a prize at some point. So one thing that we have here is I found some random website. So if you switch back to the uh, the actual website piece here, I've got a list of everybody who's joined the call, or I got a list of everybody who was supposed to join the call. So I'll have to cross reference to make sure and see who wins. But we're going to be giving away uh, one of the free Mitel free, um, excuse me, one of the Mitel 5360s, which is that nice color screen phone, and your choice, either a cordless headset or a cordless handset. So I'm just going to put everybody's name here. I found this random website that you just uh, click pick random name and we have a winner. So let's see who wins. Uh, Lynette. Lynette with USD uh, 206. Uh, they're, a, they're a school that's out in, in Kansas, uh, the, the school district system. So Lynette, I will get in touch with you. Actually, we should make sure that Lynette's on the call. Uh, we wouldn't want to give it to her if she didn't, if she wasn't here. Hmm. Lynette. Lynette is not here. Oh, poor Lynette. You you won and then lost so quickly. Uh, so let's draw another name. Tiffany Scott. Tiffany's a brand new customer that just got signed up. Let's see if she's here. I'm looking alphabetically, getting to the T's. We have <laughs> we have no Tiffany. Poor Tiffany. I can't wait to tell her that she won something that she really didn't win. One more time. Third time's got to be the charm, right? Sherry Plummer. Let's look. Uh, we have... Oops. Now our, now our random website is talking to us. So uh, the uh, Sherry is on the call. I verified that. Sherry, you won a new phone. I'll get in touch with you after the call, and uh, we'll figure out how to get that out to you or shipped out to you. So, anywho, so I'll get rid of them, and let's go back to our presentation. So, Sherry, congratulations. Um, so, let's get to some of the new basic features that are on the phone system. And there's a there's a bunch of features that are, that have been added, but uh, um, I kind of organized them so that we went through some of the basic ones and then got to some of the more advanced ones. So with a, with the phone system, um, and, and I'm going to be going back and forth between the actual handset, by the way, and the actual, uh, and the PowerPoint. Why don't I go through the PowerPoint first and then I'll show you how these work on the actual phone. So the, um, the, uh, the star codes, there's a lot of phone systems that are out there that, that make you or force you to use star codes in order to access different features. Our system is definitely not like that. Everything that you see here can be programmed as a button so that you can easily access that. Because let's face it, we got better things in life to remember than all of these things. But at the same time, sometimes it's convenient because I don't, I might not use intercom all the time, or I might not use page all the time, or or any of these features I might not use regularly. And I, so I don't want to use up one of my buttons that I have on my phone. So we created some easy ways to be able to do that. So intercom, for example, is star 51. Um, one of the features that we're going to be going over is uh, direct transfer to voicemail. So this is a feature that's always been on our phone system, but has been so kludgy and it just wasn't enough. It was very inefficient in order to do this. You had to uh, transfer a call to a button, hit pound, then hit an extension, and then hope that you did it right. And uh, this this feature is so easy to use. Um, 
it's uh and i'll walk you through exactly how to do it anybody can do it it's already on everybody's phone you don't need any extra buttons um and you don't need to remember anything too complicated directed call pickup so let's say you're in the office at seven o'clock on the phone seven o'clock in the morning and you hear somebody's phone ringing and you want to be able to pick up that call um that's what that will allow you to do that it will allow you to pick up any ringing phone um and I'll walk you through that example. It's just basically I hit star nine four, and then I hit whatever extension is ringing, and then I can answer that call. Or if I have a pickup button programmed, all I have to do is hit that button, and it will pick up that call. Um, lastly, uh, private caller ID. I know that sounds uh, simple. Uh, I know that sounds silly, and and uh, but you can have. A, if you remember, for everybody who's old enough to have a landline on the phone, um, star six seven. Star six seven would block your caller ID so you can make a call private. Well, we have this available as a button. You can hit the button, turn that button on, and then make calls. And when you make those calls, it'll show up as private. Uh, or if you're going to use the star code, you just dial star six seven. And then remember, you dial your eight or your nine to get the outside line, followed by the number. And if it's a long distance number, then it's eight one, the area code, and then the telephone number. So let's switch back to the phone over here so that we can walk through this stuff. Uh, and I'll do an example of each of these. So things like intercom, if I want to intercom, I can hit star five one. I'll turn the volume up. And then I can type 103. I can say, hey, Brian, how you doing over there? And then Brian could talk back to me. And we don't really want to talk to Brian, so we'll hang up on him. Um, but easy way to access that. Um, that directed call pickup. So I'm going to, I have another phone in front of me. And I'm going to create a ringing phone. And so you can see that there's a phone ringing that's over there um, just because I, I set up a button for them. So for me to pick this up, all I'm going to do is dial star nine nine, and then, oh excuse me, I'm going to dial star nine four, and then I can dial one ninety nine, which is the extension. Ooh, that's some terrible feedback. So basically, if you've got a phone ringing and you don't have a button programmed, it's star nine nine, or excuse me, star nine four. And the extension that I was trying to pick up is 199, which is why I sound like I have a mouthful of marbles. But uh, um, again, star 94 followed by whatever extension. The other thing that you can do is, so like I have that pickup button. So if I have that pickup button, I can just hit that button to pick up that call. Um, also, if you have these indicator lights that light up that show you who's on the phone and who's not on the phone, you can use those as well. So if I uh, had one and I had um, I'll create that call again, I'll get ready so that we don't hear that awful noise. But if I hit star nine four, I can then hit this button and it's going to uh, pick up that ringing call. So lots of ways to do it. You can use it's very intuitive and very easy to get around. Um, the direct transfer to voicemail. Let's do that one because that one is uh, that's one that uh, everybody should want to know or everybody should easily be able to do. So if I make a phone call and I have this call up. We'll turn this down. Um, you see, you're just going to transfer this like you would any normal call. And then when we hit transfer, you'll notice that I have this new option for voicemail. So all I have to do is hit voicemail, type in the extension of whatever whoever I want, or I could pick them out of the list. So let's just send this to Kevin just because we like picking on Kevin. And it says transfer complete. So now Kevin just got the weather guy in his voicemail. So. We like picking on him. He'll he'll sit there for five minutes and try to figure out what that was all about. But anywho, so uh, very easy. You're on the phone call. You hit transfer, and then um, that gives you the ability to um, that gives you the ability to hit that voicemail menu and then hit the extension, uh, type in the extension, or press the button. Uh, private caller ID. 
very simple. I have a button here. Let's start with the button. I turn the button on. It says turning outgoing privacy on. It tells me that my outgoing privacy is on. So if I make a phone call now, and let's say I call my cell phone here. Should be able to see. That call now comes up as restricted. So I can answer that or not answer it. And you'll see that call come up. If I want to turn this off, I turn this off. Same thing with if I don't want to keep a button here for just that feature, then I can do a star six, seven. I then dial eight to get the outside line. I dial my telephone number after the eight. And there we go. We have restricted again. I'm going to hang up. So hopefully those make sense. They're all pretty easy to use. Um, very basic features, but the stuff that you can use every day. And the stuff that, that um, are definitely enhancements on the way the old method of doing certain things. Uh, my favorite feature. So this is my favorite feature out of the upgrade because it has so many use cases and it can help any business. It helps every business. Um, I know that some of you guys are familiar with twinning. Twinning is the ability of uh, if I make a phone call, um, I can ring simultaneously on both devices. And I'm taking a look at the PowerPoint presentation, by the way. And I've got a couple of definitions for people who aren't familiar with twinning. But twinning will essentially ring on my Vaspian phone that's in front of me. And at the same time, it'll ring on my cell phone. Now, if they ring and ring and ring and I don't answer, and I can have that set to pull back and, and go into my office voicemail. And then I just get my voicemail to email and I can call them back whenever. But if I do answer, and let's say I'm over by the coffee machine, I'm over there getting coffee. I don't want to sprint back to my desk to try to answer this call. Uh, we've all done that. But then I answer the call on my on my um, uh, I answer the call on my cell phone. I finish making my coffee. I can wander back to my desk, and then when I get back to my desk, my light on my phones are going to be active. So my line one. Uh, is going to be active, and then I could simply just hit that button in order to carry that call back to my desk phone. It'll automatically hang up on the cell phone. So that's personal twinning, and that's been around forever. What happened here with this feature is we've now added this capability to call groups or to groups. And so call groups in the phone system, they're nothing more than like, hey, if I want to call these three phones at the same time, or if I want to call um, these the sales department, or I want to have my receptionist or whatever group that it is, I want to ring these phones at the same time. Uh, we use them on inbound calls to point our main numbers there. We use them off of auto attendance where I have a sales group, a service group, an accounting group. So think of this example now for a group and adding that twinning capability. So think of anybody who has a sales organization. So if you have a sales organization and you're out and about, all your salespeople, you want them out and about going prospecting and trying to make you money. You don't want them sitting in the office necessarily. I guess it kind of depends on the business, but uh, if that's the case, then somebody chooses the option off the auto attendant uh, for sales and it rings, it rings. And normally that call would have ended up in voicemail and that guy might go on and call the next person, your competitor. Um, but with this, it's going to ring all of those people's cell phones and whoever answers it can then answer it. If they happen to be in the office, they can still wander back to the desk and then migrate that phone back to the desk phone. Uh, another really good example for this is reception. Think of uh, your reception area. So if I had the reception area um, and uh, he or she has to get up for any reason and they got to go to the copy room or whatnot, they can have a button on their phone. And on my phone, I have a button that's called group twinning to turn this on and off. I, it's just a toggle button. So if they need to turn that on and go to the copy machine, they can go to the copy machine. And they can then answer that call. And if they have to transfer it, they just walk back to the phone, they carry it over to the phone, and then transfer that call away. Um, 
think of after hours service where you've got on call or um, there's just a there's a tremendous amount of use cases on this and I don't want to spend too long on here um, so that's group twinning uh, it, it's definitely my my favorite feature out of this and uh, if anybody has questions on any of these things feel free to call us and, and ask whatever questions the other thing that um, you can always do, by the way, is on our web page, when you're logged in, if you see this help thing, we've gone through and we've documented this thing, uh, and we've documented literally every feature in the phone system and given examples, and we've done a ton of work, and it's in English, it's easy to read, it's not like it's in phone system people language, so it, it's, it really is user friendly, and, um, and you can, you can find pretty much anything. Also, we've gone through and added a bunch of these little um, help icons. So anywhere where you see this gray little help icon, you can click on that and it's gonna bring you, oops, I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, it's gonna bring you directly to um, that guide about that feature. So bringing us to our next feature is a very cool new feature. It's definitely for our more advanced users, but this is um, something that's called selective call routing. So selective call routing is basically a rules-based routing. So with this feature, we can be able to create rules and route calls differently based on who's calling. Pretty cool, right? So to access this, you can access this right on the My Call Handling page. So this is something your, um, your administrator has to set up and give you permission to have this, your Vaspian phone administrator. Um, but once you have this, then you can go through and create these rules down here. And you can move the rules in order and how you want them to work. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of detail. It's all documented in this help thing. Or again, you can always call us if you need help. So the, uh, let's talk about some of these examples and what you might actually use this for. So maybe you only want to accept calls from certain people. And um, there's these, maybe it's a um, technical support and you've got these customers who have, um, they can only access, they can only call in and access this uh, if they're a member. You put their telephone number in there and they can, they can do that. Uh, or Maybe you're the CEO and you don't want everybody calling. You only want you want your call screened and and um, uh, only certain people can get through to you. Or more likely than not, maybe you have a harassing caller or some annoying salesperson that keeps calling and you're just sick of sick of them calling. You can then block them and send them to a busy signal. And by the way, you can do different treatments to different types of things so it's it's not like if it's an annoying person you can send them to a busy signal or you can redirect them to your favorite enemy or whoever whatever you want to do there but um the you can uh maybe you don't want to answer blocked caller id so when people call you from restricted numbers you can play them a message that says uh we don't accept calls from restricted numbers please call us from another number uh, or maybe you just want to play them a busy signal. You can do things like that as well. Um, or how about um, like a VIP customer? VIP customer is perfect for this. So you've got um, your top 10 customers and you want to make sure that they get through to somebody every time. Or maybe you want it to after hours when they call, it rings people's cell phones versus people where the calls would normally just go to uh, an after hours greeting or some sort of message. There's lots of things that you can do with this feature. This feature is really, really flexible. And, um, and uh, it's talk to some of us here. My advice, like uh, if you call into support, Alex, Andy, Kevin, they're they're all very well versed on this, so they're they're pretty good. I'm another good resource for this, um, so feel free to chat with us if you have anything. Um, so we talked about a lot of those new phone system features that are in there, and I've covered some of the big ones, um, but that's not all. I mean, we've been doing um, we've done a ton of work on the back end from and and we've been busy making changes to our infrastructure so that we can develop 
more cool applications. And we got access in one of the back end things that we that changed was uh, a whole brand new API that that we have built for us that that gives us the ability to interact with the phone system in ways that we couldn't before. And so you're going to see some very neat things out of us. Um, one of um, one of our developers, he uh, um, we hired a development staff. For most of you guys, probably know that, but we've got some software developers that that write write some applications for us. That and um, one of our developers, Mark, has been working on creating developer tools for any of our customers that would like to start building their own integrations or custom software for the Vaspian system. So we've launched our new Vaspian.io website which is a site where developers can gain account level access and then they can request what's called a secure authorization token uh, so that they can work on a particular project and they, they'll get a token for if they want to do a custom report or they'll get a token if they want to do a click to dial integration. Um, this is something that is a, a beta now, but um, there is a um, there's a nice website that we put together that tries to define some of the stuff. Um, I think that Mark's been working on the ability to sign up. You can sign up and register for an account. Um, but there's different things that you can tie into. And so there's a lot of stuff that you can do when you start tying into the phone system and building different reports and, and events, click to dial, screen pops, things like that, 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 um, that might not have been necessarily available prior. So he's been busy with that. Um, one of our other developers, Jody, he's been uh, working on adding a whole new line of phones made by Polycom. So we're gonna be supporting the, the entire VVX series of phones. So uh, the VVX 300s, which 300, 301, 310, 311, uh, the 400s and the 500 phones. Um, these are some nice phones. Uh, we're, we've added the capability of being able to use these now. And what we're just doing is making sure that um, uh, we're building the tools so that you can expect the same level of ease with regards to setting these phones up as you do with the Mitels. Um, there are some tricks to these phones and, and we wanna make sure that we have this fully uh, fully set up so that whether you're deploying one in on a, on your home network or you're you're deploying one in the office like you just plug that these are plug and play and um we're we'll ultimately end up with something that's called zero touch provisioning so um lastly we're doing an upgrade to our my.vaspian portal so the my.vaspian portal is getting a facelift and um, with all these new changes and features, we felt like it's time to uh, make sure that we have common portals and make sure that, that, um, that these features are easy to access. Um, like what we did with uh, the classic view and the modern view, we will continue to um, use the current portals and then light this up side by side where customers can choose to migrate to the new one and get some of the new features that are that are available there uh, instead of forcing somebody to learn something. So that's really all I wanted to cover today other than the fact uh, of one last thing. And what that is is just talking about um, our next features and what we want to what we want to accomplish and what we want to build and so we've got some very cool ideas and these are ideas that we want to build either way it's just we would like your help and direction in terms of um, seeing what you guys think are the priorities and uh, and um, and what we should do first right so I said vote for your favorite feature and we will build it but that doesn't mean that we, uh, we're not going to build the others. It just means that it uh, is what we're going to focus on first. So um, let me walk through these. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a poll where you guys will be able to vote. And then I can show the results of that once everybody has had an opportunity to do so. So the first one is um, a click to dial plugin for Google Chrome. So this is a really nice feature where, like if I'm on any web page, let's say I look up some business and their phone number's there, 
I can then just highlight that telephone number and right click on that and then be able to, when I right click on that, my Vaspian phone's gonna go off hook and start dialing that number and calling that number. So this is an incredibly useful function because more and more people, their, their own internal systems that they manage their customers with are, um, they're web-based, they're, they're CRM systems or they're practice management systems or whatever unique term for the industry that they're in, um, these things are web-based. So being able to just highlight and click almost gives you that integration feel between the two softwares. So that's the, and we would do that for Google Chrome. Chrome has uh, the Chrome browsers, very extensible and it's um, the most commonly used browser and, um, and uh, it's one that we like. So the second one is something that we would add to the My Vaspian portal. And this would be for receptionists or people where the phones are answered. So this is an um, interactive operator panel. And what that mean is that means that on their computer screen, whether they, they might have a second monitor on their computer screen, um, but they'll be able to see all the calls coming in. They'll be able to interact with those calls, uh, whether they want to put a call on hold, um, they can park calls, and they can use their computer screen to make their MyTel phone do different functions. So putting them on hold, transferring the call, parking those calls, and the computer screen just gives them a easy way to be able to manage all of these. So some some businesses, some of our larger customers, right, they've got 200 extensions. And if they want to be able to see all 200, you're not going to be able to have a button on there on, on your phone that tells you who's on the phone or who's not on the phone. Or if you did have buttons for all that many people, your phone's going to be the size of your desk and, and the person that walks through your door is going to say, what's that old antiquated thing, right? So this gives you the ability to manage all this gives the receptionists or people answering the phone the ability to use this panel to be able to direct callers see who's on the phone see who's not on the phone and and manage calls as they come in um then the third option is again in the my Vaspian portal but we're gonna what we're looking at doing is building an end user portal that has a soft phone or a web phone built right into that web page and if you think of our portals now, um, the portals are kind of designed for our manager level or our admin level. There are some, there is some end user access for these, but the majority of these, like if I want to pull, it's pulling reports, it's viewing call recordings, it's viewing, changing something about the phone system, changing a feature. This is now something where we could build um, an end user portal that where everybody who has a phone can then sign in and they could choose to use their phone right on their laptop or their computer or their Mac or their iPad or whatever they're using and they can sign into that and they'll have they'll have the ability to make and receive phone calls they'll take a pair of regular old headphones plug it in or they'll take the uh, the iPhone headphones that they use or a Bluetooth headphones and you'll they'll be able to use that as a, as a phone. You won't need to have a phone if you don't want. Um, great for travelers, great for uh, people that are um, on the road or people who wanna work from home or work remotely. One other point with that is this also creates a very, very good redundancy story. So let's say something happens in the office, the roof caved in, the, somebody dug up the internet connection, something happened. Guess what? Take your laptop, go home. There's no configuration ne necessary. Log into my.vaspian, pull up your soft phone, answer your customer's calls. If there's calls coming into the main number, you'll be able to answer them. If calls come, somebody transferring a call, you'll be able to answer them. So that's the where we're thinking about that end user portal that has a web phone in it. Um, I guess one of the other things that we'll build is so that you can view your contacts in there and just click to call them and you'll be able to see your call history and access voicemail. And if you're a VFAX subscriber, you'll see your faxes and things like that. So that's what that is all about. So we got three, we've got three, uh, three features. I'm going to try to work with, uh, this software here to get, 
Hold on one second. I'm just pulling up a poll. So I have launched a poll. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, let me make sure. I hear my grumbly partner next door say, say yes. So I'll keep this open for about a minute. Uh, we've got 40% of us have voted. Um, Sixty percent of us have voted. We got seventy seven percent of us. I'll give it another ten or fifteen seconds. All right, so if any last people are going to do it, go ahead. I'm going to close it in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so let me close that poll and let's share the results. It was close, so it was in between. It looks like two things that were uh, of very similar interest. Um, and uh, with the winner being that end user portal with that soft phone being in. So uh, that's going to be something that, that we're going to start working on. Um, the, that new, the new uh, my.vaspian portal is where that will be located. It, um, I think that's getting ready to launch sometime in February um, that that new portal will be available. And once that project is done, We'll get started on on building that stuff out. So that's all I had. I want to thank everybody for joining. Uh, I know this this was a little bit of a long one just because it was an hour long, but um, we can open up for questions. We've got another five minutes or whatever you guys want in case anybody has any questions. Um, Brian, you're kind of managing that, so if anybody. If you see anybody with hands up or uh, um, has typed something to you. Uh, it looks like Joe Todd had a question. He said, is the interactive operator panel available while the user is already on a call? Um, yes. So this that'll be designed so that you can manage multiple calls. So there'll be a Think of like it will be like a little section within that where you're going to see all of your calls coming in. So if you're on a call, then you can um, you can put that call on hold, go to the next call, and toggle back and forth on the computer screen. If you need to transfer a call, then you can kind of do the drag and drop or however that will be designed. Good question, Joe. Anybody else? Just look. Um, it looks like Bill Chilson has his hand up. Uh, Bill, Bill, are you there? Great. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to know on your on your new features. You had that last one, which was the private number. What was that? It was star what? Star 67. Okay. That's, I didn't get that written down. In time. Star 67. Thanks. Yep. And I'll send out, uh, I'll make sure that we send out some of this stuff as notes to all of the customers as well. But good question. I'm going to meet you back out. Um, Joe. Joe Morganti, you had a question. Hi, yeah. Caller ID. I've uh, had issues with that, especially when I get mobile calls. It doesn't display on the phone. 
and I know we've talked about it a number of times. I've been told a software-ish, uh, a software upgrade is going to take place at some point to improve that. Caller ID. Um, caller ID. I mean, as long as the caller ID is being sent, uh, we're going to display that. So if it's like, um, like I know, like a lot, you know what? A lot of times when people call from like cell phones, um, right? Those, In those, yeah. And more and more people are using cell phones, so you, I find that we get less caller ID because of that. But if there's a right. if there's another topic, maybe I'm missing it. Hit, just give me a shout, and I'll uh, I'd be more than happy to to answer that. Good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna mute you out. And go to the next one. Um. Jamie Bellstat, you're live on the air. What's up, buddy? Jamie, you still there? Jamie took his hand down. We'll mute Jamie. Uh, who else had a question? Peggy had a question, but her hand went down. Maybe I can... Peggy, did you have a question? Still with me, Peggy? Guess not. Um, I think, I think that I got everybody. Um, if not, feel free to call support and um, um, ask for me or uh, uh, or ask any of the guys that are on the phone. We'll do our best to make sure that that gets answered. So, guys, it's 3.01. I appreciate you guys giving me the hour. Um, I will, uh, and I'll, I will be giving uh, the winner here a call momentarily. Sherry, I'll call you and uh, we'll figure out how to get you your phone out to you. Anywho, thanks again, guys. I appreciate everybody's time. Enjoy.